Shalom. Yom Kippur is upon us. This is a, a scary time, and, uh, and it should be frightening to us. The social networking can grow or hamper a business almost like no other force. How a person presents their company or on sites such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram presents themselves and their product to millions upon millions of consumers. A small mistake on any of these sites can have detrimental results. At the same time, a bad review through social media can be just as damaging. There are two types of social networking disasters, those caused by the person themselves and those caused by others. In this Devar Torah, similar errors will be examined in the context of sin or repentance. In examining the 24 unique sins, this Devar Torah will demonstrate that sin operates much the same way as repentance. In his Laws of Repentance, the Rambam wrote that there are 24 deeds which hold a person back from repenting. The list is extensive and much too long to list here, but included in this list of 24 sins is scoffing at the mitzvahs. The Rambam wrote, and excuse me for quoting, Since a person who scoffs at the mitzvahs considers the mitzvahs degrading, he will not pursue them or fulfill them. If he does not fulfill the mitzvahs, how can he repent? In his list of 24 sins, four sins are so severe that they are listed separately. These sins are so grave that God will not allow the person who commits such deeds to repent because of the gravity of his transgressions. One of the four sins that a person commits that is so severe that God prevents one from, from repenting is a person who thinks that I will sin and then I will repent, or who says I will sin and Yom Kippur will atone for me. An attitude that one can do what they want and repent later is disingenuous and mistakes what a Torah-observant lifestyle is really all about. A careful reading of the Rambam's words reveals that hampered re repentance stems from two causes. The first is found among the 24 sins that the Rambam listed. This is where a person himself hampers his ability to repent. The second is, a found, is found among the four severe sins listed above, and that is where God inhibits a person's repentance. The Talmud states, A person is divinely helped in walking along the path that he chooses to walk. If a person chooses to walk along a path of Torah mitzvahs, he will be helped by God. And if he chooses to walk along a path of instinct instead of values, God will allow him to do so, at the person's own detriment. Each per every person has free will, and every person chooses their own path. When a person chooses a path of, des over of desire over a path of values, he sets himself up for consequences that naturally stem from such choices. As the person's sins become habitual, he has a harder time breaking away from them. When a person sins habitually, he prevents himself from repenting. And when he crosses that line to sinning severely, God himself inter intervenes to prevent him from repenting. Let's hope none of us share that faith, this Yom Kippur, and instead have a Yom Kippur full of meaning. A Yom Kippur where all of us are, have our sins atoned for us and are blessed with a coming year of great success and great growth. Shana Tovah.